Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, my name is Sheena and I'm a digital content creator, Etsy shop owner and illustrator based in New York City. So it is a semi gloomy Sunday and I was kind of feeling down and really bloated and that was just a friendly reminder to get up and go get shit done. So I'm going to head out to a coffee shop and see if I can get some more admin tasks done. So getting back to emails, doing a bit of prospecting, things like that. I do want to say I appreciate Appreciate all of you guys that have joined my patreon since my last vlog I saw you guys sign up and thank you so so much as always if you want a deeper glimpse into my daily life Instagram and patreon are going to be the best places to find that content I'm trying to get a lot better about posting weekly on YouTube but until I get my shit together that's where you can find me so without wasting any more time I'm going to head out and hopefully I can find a place that isn't too crowded it's a Sunday but you'd be surprised it's New York City things are always crowded and hopefully I can record and share with you guys what I'm doing so let's go this studio vlog is brought to you by Skillshare as always I'll be covering what I'm currently learning on the platform and how it's helping my business but let's go ahead and jump back into the content Hey guys, so as you can tell by the lighting, it is much later and I got a lot of work done today. I'm actually very proud. Sometimes when I go to coffee shops, they can be very distracting, but I've also had an issue with being at home and just kind of like falling off of my tasks. Like I really get caught up in Love Island and I turn around like an hour later. And I'm like, what have I actually done besides stare at this one web page and watch Love Island? So I don't know. One of the hardest parts about this whole freelancing thing is really having discipline. And so I'm really working on that but today was good today felt good but yeah i'm back home i am mentally exhausted to be honest with you guys i swear like if i have to do any updates to like my website or business profile or resume it literally takes everything out of me i don't know why but i'm just really mentally exhausted so i'm gonna basically tidy up because dustin's on his way home and then we're probably gonna have dinner so if i don't pick up the camera again tonight i will see you tomorrow bye guys all right so this is a bit later on in the night and i want to show you guys this process because i am thrilled to say i have gotten my first wholesale order and i figured i would show you guys the process because it's all new to me as well so i'm just basically sitting in front of the tv watching some netflix uh the show is called lock and key if you guys have netflix it is such a bingeable show definitely watch it but I'm just putting my enamel pins on their backing cards. Um, Dustin is doing a quality check and then he's going to put them into the cello bags. And with this particular wholesale order, I didn't scout or pitch or do any of that. This client actually found me on Etsy. She fell in love with these enamel pins and decided she wanted to buy a bulk order for her business. So basically she is going to sell them um, in vending machines across the region. And it's going to not only get me exposure, but a bulk deal that I don't have to worry about doing individual sales for, which is great. Now, while we're on the topic of enamel pins, I wanna go ahead and nip this in the bud, but I've had quite a few people ask me on YouTube and then track me down on Instagram to ask me again who my manufacturer is, and I haven't just forgotten to share with you guys, I've chosen not to. Having a channel like this, I share every aspect of my business, like the tears and the crying and the success, and a lot of manufacturers that I do use and love, but when I don't have the best experience with a manufacturer, I am choosing not to share Share them because number one I don't want to promote them on my platform and give them free marketing if I wasn't happy with the process and the second point I actually heard on a podcast by catnip on her patreon which is as creators you guys trust us to get an honest review and opinion and when we share a manufacturer we almost become the spokesperson for them so as things go wrong or things fall through people are going to bring their issues and aggressions back to us and just hearing how much feedback she had to give and what she went through after she shared her manufacturer I've decided that it's best that I just don't do that now for those of you that are on the hunt and are trying to find a new manufacturer the way that I found my 
mind is just by Googling and doing research. And I know no one wants to hear that, but I want to be real with you guys. That's how it's done. You have to Google, find reviews, see if you can locate them on Instagram and see what they're posting or what they're about, how their ethics are, and then make an educated decision on if you want to work with them. So in the future, I may end up sharing this information, but as of right now, I've chosen not to, and I really hope you guys can understand and appreciate that. So now we are moving on to packaging everything up. The great thing about this wholesale order is I found a way to include my labor rate and also the cost of shipping. So that is totally covered by the client. So I'm just wrapping them up in bubble wrap to keep them super safe. And then I'm using some no issue tissue paper and compost mailer to get them shipped. And the client did follow up with me and said she received them safely and she's still happy with them. So I would say this was a super successful transaction action and again if you guys want to kind of hear about the process and everything that I did be sure to let me know below and give me a thumbs up and I can do a video on that All right guys, so I am back. I ended up finishing up a little of admin work and then I also got my thank you cards cut out, which you guys saw. And now I'm just gonna go through and show you my new bookmarks and I actually, am cutting them at home, so I'm also gonna show you that. So I ended up going with Vistaprint for this order. I actually use them for my Dakota postcards, which I will insert a picture here, which are so cute. I can't wait to relaunch them in the next Christmas season. But I went with Vistaprint because I had a good experience with them. Their customer service was A1, and no, this is not sponsored. I paid for this with my own money, and I do enjoy the platform. So I'm going to show you the bookmarks. All right, so my quantity that I ordered was about, I think it's 50. Yeah, the quantity was 50. And here is the bookmark. So for those of you that follow me on Patreon or Instagram, you've already seen this illustration done and it's of the legendary author, Toni Morrison. And the quote on top just goes along with one of her novels called Beloved. And it says, definitions belong to the definers, not the defined. So I basically threw that on the front and then on the back, I just have her name, a cute little print that I created and the Brooklyn Post tag, just in case people need to get back online and find me or the shop. And if you guys want like a closer look, I do have them listed on my Etsy so you can actually see the full image. I also have it on my Instagram so you can see it, but that's basically what it looks like. These bookmarks are two by six and they have like a, I don't want to say a matte finish. It's more like a satin finish. As you can see, it kind of shines in the light, which is not my overall favorite. I like for bookmarks to be super matte, but they didn't have that option on there just yet. So I went with these and I still love them. Now off the bat, you notice that these bookmarks do not have tassels because I did that with my Shakespeare bookmark, which is also in my Etsy shop. And I just didn't feel like doing it with this one. I felt like this was enough, especially with the designs and everything. And when it comes to the corners, they are listed as rounded, but as you guys can see, uh, they are not rounded because they do not have that option on Vistaprint. I wanna say they either don't have it or I just didn't wanna pay extra for it because I do have my own solution for that. So for OGs that have been around for a while, you have seen me use this tool in old like Christmas vlogs, I wanna say, but it's basically a corner rounder, I guess you can call it, but I got it on Amazon. There it is, and it's by the brand uh, Kodumaru Pro. 
there it is and basically it has three settings small medium and large and depending on which corner you decide to put your piece of paper in you just punch down like that and it rounds the corners so i ordered all of my bookmarks without it so i'm gonna have to do that manually and i figured i would just show you guys what that looks like up close so i'm going with the medium setting which i believe makes a rounded corner of one fourth of an inch which for me is the perfect size And there we go, nice rounded corners and that literally took me five seconds. So five seconds of bookmark is not terrible and I'm just going to do a handful of these until I decide to do the rest of them later or as orders come in. But I am super happy with this tool. It just saves you a lot of money um, because I've seen other suppliers who actually charge quite a bit of money just to have edges rounded, which is something that's so simple. And this little tool I just found on Amazon, it's super inexpensive and I will have a link for it below but it saves you money and then you're able to put that money either back into your pocket or your business so yeah I am happy with it you guys should try it out too and avoid paying a manufacturer to do it for you So I have yet to do like an in-depth uh, how I take pictures for Etsy or Instagram video on this channel. But to be honest with you guys, all of the skills and techniques that I have learned have come from our video sponsor, Skillshare. So if you are new here or maybe just have not heard of Skillshare, they are basically an online learning community where millions of creators can take the next step in their creative journey. They offer thousands of classes for creative and curious people, ranging from photography, photo editing, business marketing and of course art and illustration I love this platform because it's super accessible and affordable most classes you can get wrapped up in 60 minutes or less and with an annual subscription that is less than $10 a month Skillshare is a no-brainer you guys and the particular classes that I took to kind of learn more about photo editing and white balance the first class was from Justin Bridges who is one of my favorite photographers here in New York and recently I came across a class that was made by a guy named Sean Dalton and he is working with one of my favorite illustrators named Charlie Clements and so he shows you step by step how to set up product photos how to edit those photos and how to make engaging content for your Instagram feeds especially if you are an Etsy shop owner so to get you started on your creative journey, Skillshare has partnered with me once again to give the first 500 subscribers two free months to try out the platform. Remember, it's only available to the first 500, so go ahead and click the link below and join millions of creatives learning on Skillshare today.
All right, guys, so I am back on camera because I'm here to close everything out. I think this is a good stopping point for this vlog because I realize that when I try to stack multiple days on top of each other to create one vlog, it just takes me super long to edit them, which means they take even longer to get to you guys. So I think this is a good ending point because I'm just doing emails and admin work. But I hope you all have enjoyed everything and kind of seeing my process of how I create bookmarks is actually a lot simpler than we make it out to be. You're literally making a design, refining it, sending it to a print press, seeing your sample, approving it, and then ordering. That's literally it. And if you want to do tassels, you can. If you want to round the corners, you can. But you guys see all the options that are out here. And if you choose to DIY it, again, I will have everything linked below. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with the service that I got from this to print if you guys want to try them out and that's where I think I'll be making my bookmarks for the foreseeable future until I find a company that can do all matte. I think that's it. I have a lot of work to wrap up and it's starting to get a little dark, but I really hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog. Be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss out on the next one and the information that will be there and thank you so so much for being here. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!